Modification of starch is an interesting topic with varied applications in the food industry. Starch is a macromolecule belonging to the group of carbohydrate, which is a macronutrient, and it is a polysaccharide. Starch comprises of glucose units linked with glycosidic bonds, and these glucose units are linked as a linear chain in the amylose and as a branched chain with amylopectin. Looking at the starch which needs to be modified, let's understand why starch has to be modified and how it differs from the native starch. Native starch or the original as such referred to as a starch are basically pure forms of starch molecules. On the other hand, modified starch is a terminology which is used to identify grains and vegetables which has been treated to improve its ability to keep the texture and structure of the food. Hence, modified starch does not mean that it has been genetically modified or produced from genetically modified organisms. Let us understand that modified starches are therefore normal starch molecules or normal starches that have been altered chemically, physically or by a variety of other techniques. We will be discussing all these techniques in a bird's eye view. Native starches lack the versatility to function adequately. Hence, the need for modified starches Therefore, because these tolerate a wide range of processing techniques. Modified starch is the starch extracted from grains and vegetables which has been treated to improve its ability to keep the texture and structure of the food. Today, food industry demands are met by modifying native starches by chemical, physical and enzymatic methods. Hence, let us look at the reasons for modifying starches. Number one is that it provides functional attributes. Secondly, it is abundant and readily available. And most important, it provides an economic advantage. Looking at the functions of modified starches to be used in various food applications, it provides an improved texture develops a crisp coating on the products in which it is being used, it provides a good binding property and it stabilizes emulsions. It imbibes also moisture and this is a simple processing technique for preparing modified starch from native starch. Raw materials could be starchy uh, roots and vegetables or corn which can be the basic raw materials. These are steeped in water. They are subjected to a milling process and a slurry of the starches obtained. Obtained is subjected to a drying process which is then packed. Alternatively, a pre-gelatinization process also allows the drying process and it is packed to obtain the modified starch. Now this figure shows the chemical, physical and enzymatic methods used commonly for modification of starches. The chemical process involves degradation, substitution and cross-linking. The physical method of modifying starches involves pre-gelatinization after which it is dried and an enzymatic using enzymes, specific enzymes for the degradation of starch. Now, before we go into the detailed techniques, let's look at the foods containing modified food starch. Commonly, chips, canned soups, instant pudding, low-fat ice cream, sauces, powder-coated foods such as cocoa-dusted almonds and candies. So you can see that there is a varied type of applications or foods which uses modified starch for performing an optimal functional attribute. The first technique for modification of starch is by, is by physical means in order to change the granular structure 
of the starch molecules as well as to convert native starch into crystalline starch. Common techniques involved here include pre-gelatinization followed by annealing that is slow cooling and then subjected to a process of extrusion. Pre-gelatinization of starch results in what is referred to as pre-gels or instant starch. This is created by molecular changes of native starch like corn, wheat, potato or cassava starch. We are all familiar with the process of gelatinization which is breaking down of the intermolecular bonds of starch in the presence of water and heat. This irreversibly dissolves the starch granules. Here, the pre-gelatinized starch categories it could be the starch that is obtained from native raw materials or it could be pre-gelatinized starch directly from modified starch and partially gelatinized starch molecules. In all these cases, the starch appears to be highly digestible because it has been derived from common materials, raw materials such as corn, potato and wheat flour and it is pre-cooked. So that is an advantage again where the pre-cooking is done by spray cooking and followed by extrusion and finally it is dried and ground again by the drum drying process. So this shows the different steps that happens during a drum drying process where the native starch is made into a slurry, it is mixed, then it is dried, milled and then the modified starches obtained. As mentioned earlier, modification of starch could be because of physical modification, chemical modification and enzymatic modification. So physical we have seen about the moisture that is the heat involved and ultra high pressure. Chemical modification where covalent linkages and cross linking process could happen and enzymatic as mentioned using starch modifying enzymes. The ultimate reason or the uh, need for modification of starch hence as shown is the novelty and the functionality of the starch molecules. Looking at the chemical modification techniques there are two common methods conversion and derivatization. Modification of starch involves primarily reactions associated with the hydroxyl group of the starch polymer. So this could bring about changes in the functionality of starch. So there could be different kinds of techniques involved in the chemical modification. It could be hydrolysis, it could be oxidation, esterification, etherification, catenization, grafting and cross-linking. So they can be carried out on the three different starch states. Either the starch could be made into a suspension that is you can have a slurry of starch after dispersing the starch in water. It could be filtered, washed and dried. The second option is you could have a starch paste where the starch could be gelatinized with chemicals and then it could be air dried or it could the starch could take a solid form where the dry starch can be moisturized with chemicals in a water solution and then it could be air dried. Irrespective of all these three forms the simple process includes where an aqueous medium holds the suspension treated with chemical reaction neutralized to the required pH and then it is purified. The cross linking which also was mentioned as one of the chemical modification techniques is a very common method for modifying starches. They are treated chemically to link the starch molecules along together with cross bridges. This is a, a technique which makes the starch more heat resistant. So the chemicals commonly used are phosphorus oxychloride at a temperature of 25 to 55 degrees centigrade at a reaction time of 30 minutes to 24 hours. This is a reaction indicating the structure of 
the phosphorus oxychloride cross-linking of starch. The purpose of uh, employing this kind of a technique is to provide good texture to starch dispersions as well as to impart resistance to processing conditions. The next uh, technique is stabilization or also mentioned as substitution. Here there is a reassociation of the amylose units uh, leading to a process of a retrogradation and it could also minimize retrogradation by using the stabilization technique. This is usually done by introducing monofunctional chemicals which are also called as blocking groups like acetyl or hydroxypropyl group. So here we see that the applications involved is that there is a texture improvement you get a stable paste as well as it improves the shelf life of the product. Uh, there is another method which is referred to as a conversion. Conversion methods are usually uh, acid hydrolysis techniques, oxidation processes, pyroconversion and enzyme conversion. In the whole process, the result is a reduced viscosity and a reduced molecular weight. One specific technique which is uh, advantageous particularly in the confectionery industry is acid hydrolysis which aims at the hydrolysis of alpha linkages to reduce the hot viscosity of starch paste and to provide a thin boiling or acid thinned starch. So this is how it looks after the uh, a process of acid hydrolysis application of heat and water we see that there has been a um, you know kind of an easy availability of the starch so that it can be used directly as a modified starch. The simple process involves acid reacting with a starch slurry followed by hydrolysis and neutralization of acid. Uh, then there is a conversion of the starch granules which are recovered by filtration washed and oxidation is another technique wherein sodium hypochlorite as a source of chlorine is used to produce a low viscosity starch powder to be used in batters and for coating applications. Bleaching is done in order to improve the whiteness of the starch powder to improve the appearance of starch powder by oxidation of impurities as well as use of bleaching agents like hydrogen peroxide and potassium permanganate. So we see therefore that the native starches are modified by various techniques like the physical methods, enzymatic methods and chemical methods to provide respectively the different modified starches to produce other kinds of convenience foods. Pyroconversion or dextrinization is the next process in which uh, pyrodextrins are formed due to the heating of the dry and acidified starch. In this process, new glycosidic bonds are created um, and as in dextrinization, we have these used as fat replacers in bakery and dairy products. As I mentioned earlier, the end product is pyrodextrins. Finally, we have the starch modification by enzymes where starch paste is treated with enzymes like amylase. Beta amylase removes maltose to produce dextrose. Amylase which targets the alpha 1,4 linkages produces glucoamylase removing the glucose units to produce sugars. And the deep branching enzyme targeting alpha 1,6 linkages converts starch to maltodextrins and corn syrups. Thank you.